next 15 minutes, I'm going to shower you with a bunch of news from last week. We're going to cover everything from fundraising to new open models. I've handpicked 10 individual items that I think will add value to you. And let's get started. The first news is exclusive news where SSI, I don't know how many of you remember SSI. This is the startup or the new project that Ilya Sutskever started. So this has been a combination of three people, Daniel Gross, Ilya Sutskever, and also Daniel Levi, who is from OpenAI. So these three guys in their seed round, I don't know if it is a pre-seed round, has raised $1 billion. This is literally for VCs, the ticket to get on another OpenAI. And I'm not sure if anybody is betting on the product. Everybody must be betting on Ilya. And Daniel Gross is a businessman. Like people know that he can make money for them. So everything seems to be going fine for these guys. There is an interesting article from Reuters. Uh, if you want to go into detail, you can read about it. But most likely they're going to say, spend this money on compute, research and talent. That's, that's as simple as that. The next one is a very hot news. I don't have a lot of information on it yet. But this is a new model from Mistral, the company, the French company that releases a lot of open source models, or at least in recent time, open weights model has released a new multimodal model. This is a vision language model VLM. That means it's got a vision uh, encoder part. The model is called Pixel 12 billion parameter model. You might find certain technical details quite interesting. The model's backbone uh, or the LLM foundation is Mistral Nemo 12 billion parameter model with a 400 million uh, vision adapter. So this is basically like the vision language component of it. It's got a really good large vocabulary, which is like 130,000 more than 130,000. And it has got a bunch of new tokens, especially to enable images. One is the IMG token. The next one is IMG break. And then the final one is IMG end. I'm still waiting for the inference code. We've got basic code available here, but I'm still waiting for the inference code so that I can actually show you how to use this model and do vision language tasks that you want. But I'm also planning to spend more time on vision language models in the upcoming weeks. This one is a company called Samba Nova. So some, some of you have pointed me towards this company. This company, a couple of days back, announced that they've got the fastest inference for Llama 3.1405 billion parameter model. While the industry is still trying to figure out what is the most efficient way to host Llama 3.1405 billion parameter model, this company claims that they have got a 405 billion parameter model at 132 tokens per second. And they've said they've got a 3.1 Lama 3.1 70 billion parameter model at 461 tokens per second. I think this um, size, uh, this tokens uh, speed is like kind of changing at this point because there is one more uh, announcement from them that says like, okay, the 70 billion parameter model is being served at 570 to uh, 70 tokens per second. And the four or five billion parameter model is at 132 tokens per second. Either way, this is one of the competition for the, the fastest LLM serving platform like Grok and also Cerebras. So this is something that you should probably look at. And because they have made some announcement, it's like, okay, Grok is like, okay, we have got to make an announcement. And Grok has made a new announcement, which in this case is that they have pushed the inference speed of Llama 3.170 billion parameter model above 500 tokens per second. So there is a competition here between Grok and Cerebras. This is a private endpoint, it is not uh, available, but artificial analysis has got certain information about how they increase the speed. 500 tokens per second is really massive for a 70 billion parameter model. So according to them, the way they increase the speed is uh, they made some improvements in their deterministic scheduling of compute on the chip uh, and communication between the chips. So if you know, like this is like a very big, large GPU cluster, let's say, and it has to communicate between the chips and that communication has been improved. And this deterministic scheduling is driven by the improvements in Grok's standard compiler. Uh, that means like improvements apply to all the models, not just the 70 billion parameter model. It also uses a higher bandwidth and lower latency communication links between the chips. So that is another um, interesting information, but we'll have to see how it holds up when they open it for public. So with all these companies, let's say Sam Bonova, Grok and Cerebras, it's all well and good, but I would love to see them uh, offer or serve these models at scale. And the kind of use cases that you're going to have for these models are insane. See, it's not just summarization. It's not just text generation. 
it's not like you want to generate book and then publish it on amazon kindle publishing you know spamming people with uh, infinite stories it is just the agenty capabilities that you can do with these models are uh, quite good and uh, i'm definitely looking forward to see how and what people are going to build on top of it the next is an interesting announcement that did not get a lot of spotlight i'm going to make a separate video about it this is a new model called deep seek v 2.5 model so deep seek has been always delivering quite well good models this is a chinese company and they've decided to merge deep seek coder and deep seek chat into one model called deep seek v 2.5 this is a very similar approach uh, that open ai did back in the day I don't know how many of you actually remember back in the day OpenAI had a separate model for coding and then there was like text DaVinci O03 so OpenAI at some point decided to merge those models so very very similar approach they decided that okay we have got to merge these two models and launch a new model DeepSeek V2.5 and according to them this model is quite good like it performs really good not on the standard benchmarks like MMLU and all these things that people regularly use but certain benchmarks like Arena Hard win rate it's got 76.3 and the improvement is from 68.3 alpaca evil this is like one of the earliest benchmarks that people started using when instruction fine tuning came into picture um, kind of indicates the instruction following capabilities uh, that has improved from 46 to 50 percent empty bench multi-tone chat uh, so when you have like multiple tone conversation how good the model is so that is like nine and on human evil also the model has improved there is a live code bench the model is like 41 percent so the new model is a much better coder. So that is a, something that a lot of people are saying. I'm definitely looking forward to try out this model, but this model is also an open weight model. It's almost open source model, but it's not like a, with a standard open source license. They've got a, their own deep seek license, but we'll explore this model in detail. Speaking of China, we have got another model from China. This is a Chinese model in this case, like Chinese plus English. This is a small language model, an SLM. And uh, this is part of the mini CPM series. We have already seen briefly, not as a dedicated video, uh, shame on me, but uh, we have already seen briefly a part of a news that they have had a vision language model, mini CPM. But now mini CPM has got the third generation language model, the large language model. And according to them, it uh, surpasses Phi 3.5 mini instruct and GPT 3.5 turbo, the 0 and 25, the, the one that they launched in January. And uh, it's been on par like almost comparable with the 7, 7 billion and 9 billion parameter model so the good thing here is that these kind of smaller models are extremely helpful for a small niche task like for example uh, today i came across a project that helps you create a text to sql or design text to sql systems within your organization using small language models i think small language models are extremely underrated at this point and if you are a business if you are a system integrator if you have been selling software, not, not as a SaaS, uh, as a box, this is your excellent opportunity to grab on. Like you can probably put this model, send, uh, sell a small computer and people would love it. I think that is an excellent business opportunity. If you have existing audience and models like this are going to be extremely helpful. The model comes with completely open Apache 2.0 license. So you're not going to be like worried about sending your data to any kind of server. Everything is going to be local. The model is also multilingual because it's a Chinese model. It can do both English and Chinese. And I've got a bunch of benchmarks for you to use. So 4 billion parameter model definitely worth something to try out. And speaking of China, there is a new uh, video generation model that is like blowing everybody's mind, like completely blowing everybody's mind. And this is from a company called Haluo. And the model name is I think called Minimax. So the guy said like I uh, um, was honestly shocked AF. So what is a prompt? Okay, uh, over the shoulder shot of a woman's close up. At first she is laughing, then she becomes sad, then she starts to cry, then she cover her face with her hand. Like this is literally the prompt he said and see the response. So she's laughing, crying, became sad, cover her face. And she's looking at the mirror and this is AI. This is not human and human is not directing this. It's not a camera. I mean, there are certain nuances. Maybe you can still see if you have got like the cinematic sense. I, I don't have that cinematic sense. If you showed this to me, I would probably not believe this is uh, not a human recorded one. There are, like, there are certain nuances. You can see the ring vanishing. You can see the eye too much red. Um, you can see the angle of the reflection moving. I mean, you have to pay attention to see that. But otherwise, Minimax is like completely taking over the video generation space. 
this is uh, uh, generated by minimax like this is not a human generated this is ai generated uh, quite insane a lot of people are trying to build on top of it i think uh, the the studio here that he mentions halio is one of that uh, but minimax is a model that you should definitely try out and look for um, if you are interested in video i might make a separate video about it and now speaking of non chinese model that has been the talk of the town for quite a while which is um, you might have guessed at this point which is a reflection 70 billion parameter model the ceo i guess the ceo or cto of hyperbolic lab has made an announcement it's a huge announcement i i'll uh, link it in the youtube description for you to go out the bottom line is that it doesn't seem like we have got a model that is going to crush everybody it doesn't seem like the model has made a radically huge difference or improvement over the existing 70 billion parameter model uh, the creators of the model like matt and uh, sahil they have uh, said that they are doing like an rca root cause analysis to figure out what has gone wrong and they are not able to replicate any of the numbers that they quoted at at least until this point um yeah i'm giving the benefit of doubt um, it's um, it's uh, it's on my side but if you want to get a closure of the story i think you should at this point forget that reflection 70 billion came into picture you should focus on models like deep seek and mini cpm um, even though they are not like the model from the west but still they are like a model really good permissive license you can do a lot of things with that one of the thing people underestimate a lot is how much you can take an open solution wrap this around as a saas and then deploy this as an enterprise solution i mean that is the easiest way for you to make money again you need a lot of sales you need to have like background if you are a company it is very easy to ups- upsell this and the same story is with a startup called glean this is a startup that basically does enterprise rag maybe i'm oversimplifying it because you know we just do keep on calling things rag it's like an internal search so this company goes to other companies and then say that okay give me access to your data or whatever that they've got and i would enable an internal search that is ai powered so they want to be like the google of work and they have managed to raise 260 million dollars in series c funding that values the company at 4.6 billion dollars speaking of open ai rappers this is probably one of the rappers i mean like honestly speaking this is a rapper um, perplexity is a rapper but the way they have integrated and uh, the way that they have probably put them out, out put themselves out in the market for all the companies i think this is an excellent case study people should read it understand how they have managed to create all these things but anyways there is another startup that has raised like a bunch of million dollars and it is an enterprise rag saas takes retrieval augmented generation put it with enterprise data and they have got a saas uh, so they have got a lot of money final one is that there was apple ai event uh, magically <laughs> mediocre is what vox is calling it so this event uh, supposedly the center of this event is ai not apple intelligence but artificial intelligence except that apple some are not wanting to call it artificial intelligence anyways uh, they have announced iPhones new iPhones iPhone 16 iPhone 16 Pro iPhone 16 Pro Max and the center the core of all these things seem to be that there is apple intelligence that is on device and also they've got something called a private server this is like your vps virtual private server so where you can get some data get, do something but it will not go anywhere so this is like a sandbox a sandboxed server cloud created only for you and uh, this is across the um, the apps you can use it with text you can use it with image you can use it uh, uh, with siri i think the good thing is probably this is probably the biggest uh, ai penetration that you would see on the planet i mean of course android is there but android has got the fragmentation issue i use a pixel pixel has got a bunch of features especially with transcription i absolutely love it even for my indian accent it works pretty well but i think given the west is a strong iphone market and i don't know how many of them are still not using chat gpt or how many of them are still not a uh, very strong ai savvy uh, humans consumers but i think apple is going to take ai and put it on the hands of every single human who uses iphone so i guess this is going to be extremely helpful for a lot of things uh, i believe it's a good thing because people are going to experience the magic of what we have been doing on this channel for quite a while but again uh, vox is saying that this is mediocre but it shows the promising future that if you happen to work in ai if you are building upskilling pushing shipping with ai i think there is a good future for you and i see you in another video happy prompting